And now for something totally different. Um, I've been dismantling some hard drives um, to get some magnets mainly. And um, I, I kept the, the, the boards. Uh, don't know why. Um, it was looking nice. I thought maybe I can do something with that. And uh, well, my wife's birthday is coming soon. I'm um, just thinking oh, maybe I should uh, try to do some uh, jewelry with that. So I, I bought on, uh, on the internet uh, those little bezels uh, made from uh, uh, silver. Um, my Chinese stuff. Uh, uh, well, nice, good looking. I, I'm, I was thinking maybe I can try to find a, a spot on here uh, that I can cut and uh, glue that with, uh, fill that with some resin to, to get uh, uh, maybe something original, you know, like a pendant. Uh, uh, self-made pendant, DOI pendant, and find a nice spot on, on that board. I don't know, maybe here or or here. Or I, I've got another one here uh, that could make an interesting design inside, you know, why not? Uh, I should find somewhere that it's, I can easily cut. Uh, and, uh, well, I did try some, some test cuts uh just with a, a pair of uh, metal scissors uh, the kind you use uh, uh to 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 cut into into metal uh, I, I use I, I use that kind of of, of tool uh, you know it's uh, it's a very uh, a very easy to cut uh, but then the, the edges are not so 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 smooth so um, I will have to, to send that and to try to make a round cut. So this is another another idea I had is to make some uh, you know like uh, uh, key holders uh, with uh, that kind of stuff. This is a key holder, another one, uh, maybe uh, something else I can do. Uh, so I'm going to to try to do that. I'm going to find a way to to, to cut around, um, maybe going a bit bigger. Uh, with that kind of scissors and then uh, uh, sand that on the corner so that it fits uh, put in a mask to protect from the dust because uh, uh, that kind of dust I, I don't want to breathe that so I'm going to, to cut it that's why I want to cut it first uh, with that so that I don't get any any dust and then uh, get outside uh, put a, a mask on a, on a breathing mask on, on my on my uh, <laughs> To protect my lungs uh, and uh, try to smooth that so that it it fits in there, and then I bought some some uh, resin, uh, uh, and I'm going to to try to put some resin and and have that finished. So let's try that. Uh, first, I'm going to 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 cut uh, to cut the material, and and we'll see uh, we'll see uh, what I can do with that. I cut some parts uh, using my uh, my knives uh, and. Uh, it was not easy to cut round pieces, so I had to cut some square pieces like that. And then I use a, a sander. Uh, it's, a, it's a sander, a water sander, so that there's not too much dust. Uh, it's a stone running in water uh, that I used outside, uh, of course, with dust protection. And I started uh, with some easy shapes, key holders. Uh, like that, that I, I managed to uh, to shape. There's a place to hold the key. Another one like that. So very open, uh, just to get used, uh, a feeling of how to sand. And then um, I took my bezel as a as a, a reference design, and I, and I worked on 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 the the shape to have something that could be. Uh, uh, that could go inside. So this is just. Oh, sorry. This is just a an example of what I did, and then I'm going to apply uh, some resin, some resin uh, uh, behind, so that uh, it's it's uh, sticks, and then some resin on top uh, to protect the design. And I hope it's going to work. 
So I've got a few of them. I made uh, that one and uh, a few others like uh, this one uh, looks also good. Uh, this one. So I had to find some places uh, with components inside or shapes and uh, this is not so good I think because this is a bit uh, a bit uh, black and uh, but still it's okay. The one I prefer is the, the uh, for for the moment is is that one because I am able to put that in a, as a diagonal and I, I, I quite like it. So with all that I'm going to uh, prepare some uh, some resin. I've got a few uh, of those uh, medallions uh, bezels to uh, to uh, to to prepare a few uh, a few kilders like that. And uh, I'm going to work with uh, resin. So I bought some uh, two component resin. Uh, this one is it's called Resin Pro, well, whatever. It's uh, a two component uh, transparent, transparent resin. And it's, uh, it's, uh, you have to look on your specific resin, how it's mixed. That's an explanation. So with, there's a, for that one, you need uh, to weight it uh, 100 uh, of a, a component A with 60 of course component B. So for example, I'm going to weight uh, 10 grams of E plus 6 grams on B or 100 grams, 60 gram. Uh, and for that, I'm going to use um, uh, a smaller weight like that uh, with a, well, of glass when I can mix it and uh, we're going to do that right now. Uh, or five and three.
So what are the intermediate results? Um, I managed to, to, to pour uh, resin and uh, it's okay but uh, you see there's a, a surf surfacing problem here. It's not flat as I expected it to be. So I will try to, to polish that. But uh, it's uh, I quite like the look otherwise. A uh, few more examples, uh, like that one, you see the same surfacing, uh, maybe I wasn't mixing without enough precision, I don't know, maybe I didn't put enough resin, but all of them have that kind of uh, surfacing problem, so if you know that that might be, maybe the temperature is not high enough, or you can see here it says there's, a, there's something here, maybe I didn't put enough resin, uh, Again, that one, you see there's this kind of a surfacing problem. So, uh, I tried uh, the key key holder. So this is, uh, I think this is quite nice. Although, um, on the edges, uh, uh, the resin is on the top and I didn't put too much because otherwise it would uh, go over it. On the other side, there's no resin, so I think it's better if I put some resin on both sides. So I will try to make another coat of that. This is another one that I haven't connected to any key holder. And again, the same kind of sur surfacing problem. And again, I want to, to uh, coat the other side. And I, I did play with some uh, parts of uh, these drives. And this is quite nice. I like it. Uh, you see there's just a capacity inside uh, this is a part of the a motor inside the disk drive so I will need to put some older here on the top maybe I'm going to to use again uh, epoxy uh, but uh, not uh, resin but uh, glue epoxy glue to to connect something so that it it it, uh, it holds in place uh, this one is also quite nice, but not enough resin. It doesn't doesn't hold yet, so we'll have to to uh, do that again with a bit more resin. But again, it's uh, I don't know if you see that correctly. Uh, let's let the camera focus a bit. I quite like the look, mixture of that capacity low, nice color with a uh, with the, the the aluminium part of the of the motor. And I tried some other um, things, like putting a stone inside that one of those uh, uh, metal parts, you know. Uh, again, let's try to have the focus on the camera. Yes, you can see that. It, it's quite nice uh, for a first try. And, and uh, uh, a bit thicker one, so maybe it's a bit heavy, but uh, again, uh, a stone and some uh, epoxy inside resin and uh, it did feel quite well um, for that I used some tape you know I, I put some tape and 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 uh, flattening on a, on a piece of uh, of um, scrap uh, um, uh, I don't know what it's called anyway you see what I mean and uh, and then I, I, I pour the epoxy on top and it, it's it works well so I have to to uh, reuse that that same method uh, because it's it's quite uh, working quite well. Um, I will try to uh, polish it uh, to get rid of that uh, that kind of of, uh, of surface surface effect to see if I manage to do that. Obviously, maybe when I see there, maybe there's not enough resin on top, so maybe I should start again and pour some more resin on top. I don't know. I will try both methods. Uh, I bought some, uh, some uh, you know, uh, different uh, paper, uh, abrasive paper that works with uh, water. So I will try to to polish that with very fine grain and see what if, what that does. But I mean, for the first try, it's okay. I'm quite happy with the results. The look of it is, is I like that one because uh, it's very simple and the diag, diag here is uh, is quite nice. 
So I will try to make some overs and uh, uh, try to see if I can improve my uh, the way I pour resin, the way I mix it, or uh, if I try to manage to polish it, and uh, and we'll see that. <laughs> 